How's it going, everyone? Cynical here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Let's jump right on in. Last we left off, we read Yuri's poem, and we got some feedback on ours. Now it is time to check out some other uh, poems here. Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, Sayori. Sure, sure. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Cynical! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori? You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing here. Well, maybe that's why? Because I have no idea why I like either! <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. I haven't even done Natsuki's! What? Don't go... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a cynical poem! And that makes it feel extra special! Like I can feel your feelings in it! Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. Okay... You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> uh. I'm like really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's just like I said before, Cynical. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, aren't you? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Oh, that's her. That's her saying that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, screw ups. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Make me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Ooh. Ooh, good. good. <laughs> Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away the rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay. Nope, nope. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fa fair here, okay? Fair. All fair in love and war and shit. You know what I mean? It was kind of bad. Not bad as in extremely bad. Like, you need to practice more, bitch. More like bad like you could have put a little bit more thought into it. Because I could tell you did it as... You woke up in the morning. Okay, like, you, you you woke up, and you figured out that you didn't do the poem, so you hurried up, wrote the poem as you were sleepy and everything, and then you thought, oh, I'm hungry, I want breakfast, and the last line, I want breakfast. <laughs> Sayori? This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? I told you, I told you. No! Just a little bit. 
You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. That was... Oh, God. I gotta... Uh, I gotta look at the name of who would speak. <laughs> who the fuck's speaking? Me, me, me. Okay, anyway. Sayori. <laughs> I'm looking now. I'm looking at the names. Making sure before I speak. Don't be mean. It's like breaking the fourth wall here. Anyway. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but saying her lines in that voice... Fucking amazing. I don't know why it's making me all giddy, but... Jesus Christ. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that voice. Uh, that's like the only that's the closest thing I can go to to a, a girl's voice. Okay, I'm sorry <laughs> Even though you were late to school It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky <laughs> Well, I guess there's no point in arguing anyway. Thanks for showing me <laughs> This was so so much fun Monica's the best Uh, Yeah but next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, da -da -da -da, let's go for Natsuki, because that sounded like I showed it to her first, and then Yuri, and then her. Uh, anyway, hello, Natsuki. By the way, I only have one woman's voice, so yes, I'm gonna do that for all of them. Enjoy. The Madness. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. Thank you. <sighs> Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Ooh, short and clean, I like it. Eagles can fly. Ooh, already nice. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Hmm. Honestly, I think that's nice. Short, sweet, and simple to the point. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, oh, what? Outside the box. Outside the box. And I'm scratching myself because I'm itchy. God damn it! Anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am? Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated. It's hard to say it in that voice. Sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even tr try to take my writing seriously. I added a few words there. Shut up. <laughs> but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read. But it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end. But then made it all flat, fall flat, on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old, how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. 
And Monica, you're the last one. Bring it home, baby girl. Hi, Cynical. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activity or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. <laughs> anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, cynical. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori, Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well... We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can feel that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy the sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of style, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh my god, okay. Of course you'd have the big one. Snapping my fingers. Getting ready. Although my fingers have no real necessary part of this. Anyway. <laughs> Hole in wall. Uh, I, I can't go. Oh, okay. The wheel. Got it. Woohoo. Woohoo. Okay. Anyway, sorry. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. A real blind, like a film left out of the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. That's kind of dark here. I don't like it. That was dark. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm kind of afraid to prog <laughs> progress further. Um, okay, I'm comfortable feeling here. Um, so, <laughs> uh, what do you think? <laughs> hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. 
That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of empathy recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. I don't like where this is going, but okay. And empathy? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Yeah, you're telling me. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's why I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their uh, respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Huh? Um, did, did, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, th thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Cynical did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Cynical liked my poem too, you know. Oh no, don't make me choose, don't make me choose, please. <laughs> don't make me choose, I'm gonna pull my hair out for that. <laughs> he even told me he was impressed by it. Oh god, no. <laughs> I'm panicking. Why? Why did the music stop? Oh no. Why? 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 I'm panicking now. Why? Why? That's key stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Th that's not what I. Ooh. You're, you're just... Yours stands up as well. Oh, no. Maybe you're just jealous that Cynical appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh, no. This is not... Nope, nope, nope. I'm not getting into this. Nope, don't put me in the middle of it. I don't fucking care. <laughs> huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? N no If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? 
I wasn't the one whose boobs matched the groom's eyes bigger as soon as cynical started show. Oh my god. Okay, it's her boobs. She can magically put tissues in there if she wants to. I don't fucking care. I'm not looking in that general direction, okay? First of all, you're all pixelated. Not my kind of style, okay? I like the 3D goodness. Continuing on, <laughs> what the fuck did I ramble off to? I don't fucking know. Oh my god, this is awkward. Okay, anyway. Oh, okay. N -n not so key. Um, not so key, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me. Oh my god, run, boy, run. As if they just noticed I was standing there. Senegal! She, she just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would have happened. This wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain th that to her, Cynical. Well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's... <laughs> I can't. I just can't, okay? I just can't. <laughs> oh my god. It's the only way to convoy a complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Cynical? Um, <laughs> don't look at me. Well! Oh my god, why? How did I get dragged into this in the first place? I was just standing here. It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Natsuki, Yuri, help me Sayuri! Oh, wait. Oh, I guess that doesn't help me save. I want to save right now though, please. Oh god. Who do I side with? <laughs> Who the fuck do I side with? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, help me. Natsuki, please. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. Okay, so instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't even bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Cynical? Well, that's her problem. It's, is it about her? I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Ari wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never! It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Nasaki, Yuri, sit! <laughs> you guys are my friends. I, I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because, well, well, also, Nasuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. <laughs> Big and beautiful, what the fuck? You people need help. Help, I tell you. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. hi -ya. I just tried to do that while sitting down. Didn't work out. Anyway, sorry. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. 
Natsugi sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sari is vice president. I, I whisper that to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's, as president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sari is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Such a genuine person really does make a good present, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little bit more. Okay everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Cynical, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Cynical! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them like fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, 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 no. I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion. That's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, cynical. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. So, it looks like Suri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Wait, what? What did you just say, boy? <laughs> we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulders. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Ha! Ah! Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. And again with the poems. I'm actually going to go ahead and just do the poems right now in this part and then next part after the poem we'll continue on with the whole showing, sharing the poems things and progress the story and la 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 la. So let's quickly do this. Let's uh, pick out some things here. Uh, hmm. Peace. Precious. Uh, passion. Calm. Uh, hmm. Fireworks. Unending. Melody. Intellectual. Uh, hmm. Destiny. Romance. Pleasure. Color. Okay, a couple more. Uh, fantasy, I suppose. Wonderful. Extraordinary. Uh, I, I don't know. Bouncy? Or, uh, uh, holiday. It's actually, holiday. it's actually New Year's Eve right now. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hmm. Two more, huh? Fun and then insights. Sure. All right. We are going to have to end it here for now, though. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. See you then. Goodbye.